Hey there, welcome back to Tim Talks Cooking. Today we are talking authentic Greek salad, my friends. You heard me right. That's the authentic Horiatiki Greek salad. Horiatiki, which is a Greek word that means village, or in this case, kind of rustic. You're going to love this fresh, delicious, lovely summer salad that makes a great meal, in my opinion. So let's get started. Here's what you'll need to make this really great, very simple and fresh, delicious, authentic Greek salad. Starts off with a couple of tomatoes. Here I've got three medium-sized tomatoes. I've also got one green pepper. Now, this is a controversial ingredient. It's sometimes a red pepper, sometimes no pepper. I'm gonna use a green pepper because I like the color and the taste and because it can be included in the classic recipe. Here I've also got one cucumber. Peel it, don't peel it, kind of up to you. Depends on what region of Greece you're from, apparently, or what city. Here we've got some Kalamata olives. These are unpitted, and I'll show you in a moment how to pit them. And you could also use any olive that you enjoy. If you don't like Kalamata, Kalamata olives, use some other kind of olive. I've got some fresh oregano here. We're going to need about two teaspoons of this, or a half a teaspoon of dried, if you can't get this or you don't have it. We're going to also need some feta cheese. This is an eight ounce block of feta that's preserved in brine. I bought it at the corner grocery store, so it's not a hard item to find. You want some olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil. Some red wine vinegar or not. Apparently, there's also some controversy about whether or not to add vinegar or any acid at all, like lemon juice or something, which is included in many recipes as well. Kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper, and you are there. Let me show you how to put it together. To prepare the cucumber, first slice off each end. Cucumbers tend to be bitter at either end for some reason. And next, I'm going to make it pretty for my salad. I'm going to take off some of the peel, just like this, with a vegetable peeler. Like that. And next, I'm just going to cut slices about a quarter of an inch or so. You could cut these vegetables in a number of ways. Here I want them chunky. And again, this is a rustic salad, so we're not going to chop everything up small. There we go. Next are tomatoes, which I've already washed thoroughly and I'll put a link up on the screen to my video on how to wash vegetables to prepare them to eat. You know, they have lots of pesticides and all kinds of nasty things on them when you get them at the grocery store. Make sure you wash your stuff right. Anyway, here we've got our well-washed tomato. And here you can cut it in lots of different ways. I'm going to cut it in wedges of, well, I'll do about an eighth of a tomato for each wedge. And then just add them to the bowl. We're going to leave the seeds and jelly in. And now on to the next. And here we're just going to add them to the bowl for the moment. And move on with the peppers. Prepare the green pepper. We're just going to slice off the top like that and the bottom. And then I'm going to remove the interior. It has a seed pot in here that we're going to remove. And there it is. We're going to discard this. As for the rest, remove the stem, these other pieces. I'm going to get rid of the seeds here. Give a slice, remove any wandering seeds here. And you'll notice you've got these ribs that are white with a few remaining seeds. Let me show you how to get rid of that. We're just going to slice right through that. Make sure you don't cut yourself, of course. Discard all of that. Here, this part I'm just going to cut into strips. That will be fairly easy to eat. To remove the pit or stone from the olive, simply put it on your cutting board, put your chef's knife on top of it, give it a little smash like you would a clove of garlic, and then you can tear it in half and remove the pit very easily. 
I tear it in half after that and just toss it right on in the salad. I'm going to keep on with the rest of these olives. If you've never used fresh oregano before, don't worry about it. It's very easy to do. You just want to pull off the leaves. And easy again. Sometimes you can sort of strip them off quickly, sometimes not. You just want to get rid of the stem, which is kind of tough, would make an unpleasant texture. Let me get rid of all of these leaves. There we go. And now I'm going to discard the stems. Here we're just going to chop this as finely as we can. I'm going to bunch it together like this and be very careful not to cut my fingers. I'm going to chop it finely. There you have it. At this point, I want to give all of these vegetables a nice toss. This is going to be the basis for the salad before we serve it. We're going to serve it with feta cheese on each individual serving, and we're going to dress it on the plate. But isn't that gorgeous? You know what I think a little seasoning is called for here? Let's hit this generously with some kosher salt and with some freshly ground black pepper. To serve, we're going to take a generous portion of our salad, and this salad will serve four hungry people pretty generously. I'm thinking, look at that, right? Very nice. We're going to hit this with some fresh oregano, first of all. Let's give it a little sprinkle. I'm not going to overwhelm it. This will really, you won't miss the flavor of the oregano there, trust me. And we're also going to do a traditional presentation for the cheese, which we're going to cut a slice of this. Relatively thin slice, it doesn't have to be the whole cheese or anything. Nice slice like that of it. And I'm going to lay that right on top of my salad, just like that. And now, a little salt, a little pepper, maybe just a dash of oregano on there. And, you guessed it, a nice drizzle of olive oil. And don't cheat yourself on the olive oil. This is really healthy fat and very, very delicious with this salad. Now, you can stop there. There are lots of people who would. I'm going to add just a little squeeze of some red wine vinegar on top of that, too. Doesn't that look great? I think it's time for a taste. Now, the idea here, of course, with a big piece of cheese is that you take a little piece of cheese and you combine that with oh, some cucumber and maybe a little of the pepper. Mmm. <laughs> Fresh, delicious, lovely. And then in your next bite, maybe a little tomato. Tomato, cucumber, olive, a little more feta with that. And so you can kind of mix and match as you go along. Mmm, I gotta say, <laughs> that is one heck of a way to eat a salad. It's delicious, it's beautiful, it's also kind of fun. Anyway, I hope you'll try this salad. I also hope that you will like, share, especially on Facebook, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You know it helps my channel grow. It also helps you find my videos, especially if you click on that notifications bell. Thanks for watching this here today at Tim Talks Cooking. We'll catch you next time.